Hey besties, it's your girl Kaya Simone, aka Kaya, back with another vlog. Um, so today we are doing well. Today is Wednesday, and we are doing a. <laughs> we supposed to do a week, but it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do like three days of waking up at 5 a.m. It's like a new morning routine thing, but we're waking up at 5 a.m to start the day early and do everything early okay so yeah make sure you like this video comment down below what you want to see next subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification on so you can be notified when i post another video if you're new to the family welcome if you're not welcome back besties but yeah i just got done praying and as y'all can see i already went to the gym um yeah I'm gonna probably take a cold shower and do my facial routine and probably work because I need to get some more content out and I need to make my media kit and I just got a brand deal with Timu I think that's how you say it Timu so y'all gonna be seeing something off of there I guess so yeah but y'all I just got back. well I, I got back I was supposed to start Monday but I got back Saturday I had went to see my boyfriend for a week because he on an internship in Indiana. So, yeah, I had went to see him for a week. And, yeah, I'm back now. And I had to get back on schedule with everything I was trying to do. So, yeah, we back to the money, back to the bag, back to the fucking business, period. But, yeah, I just want to let y'all know, like, it is time to put yourself first. If y'all, because it's like me. I've always put everybody before me. I've always put everybody before me with everything, like mentally, spiritually. Like, I pray for people and telling them, hey, I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? I believe in you. But it's time for me to put myself first. I can't do it no more, y'all. Like, it's okay to say no. It's okay to say, you know, it's okay to put yourself first. Because most people know that, like, people. With a good heart, with good intentions, know for a fact, like, it's going to hurt me to say no to you. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. We got to understand. We have to realize that it is okay to say no. It is okay to say no to anything, you know, that you're not comfortable with, that your, that your spirit don't sit right with, even though that your heart, you know, is telling you to do it, you know? It is okay to say no. It is okay to put yourself first. It is okay to love yourself. And, yeah, so I'm in a, a journey. I'm in a season in my life where I am putting myself first, where I am loving myself. I am learning to love myself, learning to put myself first. I'm learning to say no to people. And it's not mean. It can come off as mean. It can, you might even feel like you're mean afterwards, but it's okay to say no. Because it's like you put yourself last after all of these people that don't really give a fuck about you, in all honesty. But it is okay. It is okay. And it hurts so fucking bad, y'all. But it's okay. It's okay to say no. It is okay to put yourself first. It is okay to love yourself. And yeah, I just want y'all to remember that. But yeah, today it is Wednesday. It is currently. I didn't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning this morning either. I woke up at like 7. But no, it's because <laughs> I went to sleep at a decent time. But it's because I woke up at like three o'clock because my fo I was on the phone with my boyfriend. My phone, uh, <laughs> it was making some type of noise, like beeping noise. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like it was like a vibrate noise, but I had him on speaker, so it was like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I woke up and I'm like, <laughs> and it's like I had called my sister. She answered the phone. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise in? And I'm like, okay, maybe it's his alarm or something. But yeah, so um. 
I woke up at like 3 something. I turned the TV back on because my TV was turned off for some reason. And I started back watching TV until I went back to sleep. So that's why I woke up at 7 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock. And yeah, and I went to the gym and stuff. So now I'm finna just do what I usually do on my morning routine. Since I'm back, I take a cold shower, put me on some good, comfortable clothes, um, go read my Bible, spend time for myself, meditate, stuff like that. I want to start back meditating because it's like I had a meditating, I had a meditating app, but I don't remember the app name. I think it was Calm. I don't know, but I just downloaded. It. You gotta pay for it now. But when I first used it, you didn't have to pay for it. But um, I'm going to start meditating and, yeah, journaling and praying and reading my Bible. I already prayed literally before I did this video. But I'm going to um, read my Bible, journal. I've never been the person to fucking read books. But I was watching this girl on YouTube. Her name is Aaliyah Simone. And she reads books. And it's like, bitch, you make this shit look like... Like, I want to read books now. I've never been a person to read books. I, I used to cheat on the AR test because I didn't want to read no book. But I got this book from my best friend, and it's called something. I forgot the name of it, but I'm going to show y'all. But I, I was reading it, like, first two or three pages, and I'm, that, shit, that, shit, that shit good. So I'm going to read it. It's like a Christian book, I think, because it got Bible verses and stuff up in there. It's basically based off the Bible, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to read that starting today. And today uh, was on the agenda. It's basically just what to-do list or whatever. I have to make my media kit. I think. Let me see. I like my phone case. I showed y'all in my last vlog. But I love this phone case so bad. I don't think y'all can see how I can see it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, it don't matter. But. Let me see. So I know I have to make my media kit. That's one. Um, I want to uh, pitch out to some more brands. I'm business funding for my Simone on the Beat business. If y'all are not following me on Instagram and TikTok, follow me. Uh, follow all my social medias. Taking summer classes, so I gotta finish my work because I got like, literally three days to do that work. That's it on the agenda today. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower. And when I get out, I'll see y'all then. Okay, y'all, so I am back from the gym. Um, It is currently 7.39. I don't know what time I left. So, yeah. I left like around 6.10ish. I think. But it is 7.49. So, uh, 7.39. So, usually when I get back from the gym, I will take a, like a cold shower, my skincare routine, just in the third. But I have errands to run today. So, I'm going to see what time this um, office open. And I'm going to go up there and drop some paperwork off. And then come back and then I'm going to film the separate video, the skincare routine. I'm going to uh, film that separate video from this vlog. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm doing a um, uh, Monday vlog for, like a daily vlog thing for TikTok. So, I'm trying to get as much content as I need. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and basically do that as well, but I do that on my phone. So, yeah. Um, Today, we really don't have anything just magnificent to do. None of these days. Um, but we're going to still vlog. Get up early in the morning. Just to make sure. Basically, it's for discipline and to, to hold myself accountable. <laughs> accountable. That is crazy. Uh, to hold myself accountable to my word. You get me? So, yeah. I'm going to um, just wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm whispering because my brother-in-law up in there is asleep. So I don't want to wake him up. Even though he's all the way across the apartment. Um, but yeah, I just took my dog outside. I don't know if I just said that or not. I'll see when I edit. But yeah. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Um, if y'all waking up and holding yourself accountable. Period. Like it anyways. But if y'all holding yourself accountable to being disciplined and stuff like that. Comment down below. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is read my Bible, you know, read my book, because, like I said, I'm reading a book. That book is called Rule Your Day. When I tell y'all, y'all need to watch that shit. I mean, y'all need to read it. But now I'm trying to build my personal brand, and it's like, I don't know. I want to build a whole nother page. A lot of girls out here that just posted, oh, money, 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 money. But what a Christian girl is it, like, the real ones. 
Okay, y'all. So we are in the car with a truck. My boyfriend has my car right now. My camera keep getting freaking blurry. Like it's so humid outside. It's like fogging up. Y'all see that? Like y'all see that? That's crazy. That is crazy. How I get that? How I keep that from off of there? It keep fogging up. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this paper into this office. Um, my license is expired, but my hair not done, and you gotta take your head off, and y'all don't want to see what's up under here, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not taking no picture like this, so I'm just gonna go tomorrow, because I'm gonna twist my hair and stuff today, and then, um, after that, I think I'm gonna go to the store. She scared me. Yeah, um, y'all see that? Like, it's blurry. Ugh, about to get mad. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the store, and then, I mean, I'm gonna go to the store after that. I'm gonna go put some gas in here and then I'm gonna go. I don't know. But y'all, I'm in. I'm, I know I always say like motivate, well, spiritual, like evolving self, mental, whatever stuff um, in my vlogs. But that is just a part of me. That's what I do. That's the season that I'm in right now. Um, right now, I know for a fact that I am in the season of separation. So that I can become bigger and better, you know, um, relationships, friendships, everybody, family, yeah. But I'm, um, I'm starting to meditate and just take time out of the day for myself. Like, that is real self-love. Self-love is not getting your nails done and hair and that's maintenance. I'm talking about actual self-love, loving yourself, taking time out of your day. Like, do you think about that? Like, do you actually take time out of your day f like for yourself do you what the freak is this mode on my camera it's like a little volume thing did i put that on there i don't think i did that i don't know what that is but i need to take that off i don't like that it's just right there what's y'all mode on y'all camera if y'all got a camera i gotta look on tiktok or something because <laughs> i don't like that but yeah like just taking the time out of my day take the time out of your day to spend time with yourself like me i talk to myself like <laughs> i mean that's not a surprise because i'm talking to a camera you know but i mean i talk like literally but when i'm sitting by myself like i talk to god and then i talk to myself you know what i'm saying and i feel like there's literally nothing wrong with it it's not it's it's one thing when you talk to yourself and you're just on the street and you just send a whole bunch of crazy shit but it's another thing when you when you speak life into yourself when you actually talk to yourself sit down and talk it talk your plans out talk your you know talk to yourself you know but and that's not it's not weird to me at all that i do that I and mean, i really don't give a fuck if it's weird to nobody else um but yeah i'm in a in a season of my life where i don't care I have nothing else like I just want to put myself first I want to take time out of my day to actually put myself first to actually take those deep breaths and because I'm not gonna lie to you they can change your day like literally if you I want y'all to do that like literally to like take deep breaths throughout the day like long deep breaths throughout the day and just spend that time for yourself think put your like listen to your heartbeat listen to your mind like you know not only see your mind ask God to silence your mind before you do that because your mind will be everywhere but actually like take deep breaths and listen to your heartbeat like I do that and it calm me down it give me like I don't know but like I actually do that take a, take the time out of my day to do that and you know like that just that time that little time for myself it changed my whole day you know but you gotta speak life into yourself speak life into your business and whatever you're trying to do like ain't nobody else gonna do that for you and nobody else and then it's like I mean some people have good friends some people have good people around them where they speak life into them and pray for them and stuff like that pray with them but I do it by myself I don't ask nobody for, to pray for me for real um when I do ask people to pray for me obviously they don't so <laughs> like I read when I say I rarely ask people to pray for me I pray for myself I don't because, I mean, it's another thing to ask people to pray for you and to pray for yourself. Because most people just ask people to pray for them and they don't pray for themselves. Like, I literally pray for myself. I pray over my sp myself. I speak things into my life. Positive things. Because ain't nobody else going to do it for you. You got to want it for yourself. You got to do it for yourself. So, yeah. Just a little motivation to put yourself first. Think about yourself. Give yourself time out of the day. Like, spend some time with yourself out of the day. Take deep breaths. Take... Listen to yourself. Listen to your body, you know. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the store. 
I drank a Celsius, so I'm a little hype. <laughs> Them Celsius be getting me there, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look at me, what she wanna be. Call me Freaky T. Off the leash, I feel like a dog. I can't have the flea. Keep it pee. Never needed you, but you needed me. I got cream, make up pretty clean. Boost your self esteem. I, I get tucked in the road, so I feel like Baby King. What's this black? It's the boss for it, so I just like Baby almost nine o'clock I think and I didn't go to the gym this morning <laughs> so I mean I feel like it's okay because yesterday like when I say yesterday I had I had a joyful ass day like I got up at 5 30 watched the sun come up got up went to the gym came back home did mainly everything I was supposed to do took me a my like one of my daily naps woke up right after I woke up, I was so fucking energized. I went up in there and I finished my website completely. So my website is finished and it will be dropped right on July 1st uh, for my makeup business. And then um, I twisted my hair and it took like two hours. And I didn't go to sleep until like, I got done with my hair like at 11.30 something. So I took me a shower, got the shower, it was like 12 something. And I was just in the bed. I was not sleepy at all. I didn't go to sleep until like 2, almost 3 o'clock this morning. And it was like, I'm like, damn, I hope I wake up. And it's like, I didn't. <laughs> so, I feel like it's straight, I guess. Um, I'll be straight. As long as I just make sure I go to sleep tonight, like early tonight. So, um, I just got to read my Bible. But I wanted to show y'all the book that I was telling y'all about yesterday. This is the book. It's called Rule Your Day. Y'all need to go get it. Y'all need to go get this. Because this is a good book. Facts. Um, Today, I literally just got a... Um, I wanted to go to the library today to edit my video. Um, I still haven't uh, did that. I didn't do that yesterday because it was late. I was going to do it after I did my hair. So my hair can be done. Um, 
I don't think I showed y'all my hair. I'll show y'all my hair later. But yeah, I um I want to go to the library today so I can just get out the house, you know. But I don't know yet. But I know for a fact I just gotta cut up that fruit. I'm making some fruit jars. I said no TikTok. <laughs> but it's gonna be uh mango, pineapple, um, blueberries, and yellow dragon fruit. I'm gonna try yellow dragon fruit. I've never tried it before. But I'm making fruit jars and yeah, I'm excited about that, I guess. Um, but oh. But yeah, I'ma um call y'all back when I get up. Well, I'm finna read my uh, book and journal and then I got the journal from my mom. It was like five dollars. But I'm finna read this book and journal and then once I finish um I'm gonna get up, put some clothes on and um I might go I might just do that uh skincare routine first and then cut up the fruit because I'm trying to like really record everything <laughs> for my TikTok because I ain't gonna lie to you, everything is content but it's quality over quantity. So I'd rather just record everything, make sure I get some good angles, make sure I record everything and just batch it, you know what I'm saying? Like batch content if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm um I feel good yesterday, y'all. Like I feel so happy and so at peace of not letting let or not worrying about things that I can't control. Like that was like a big deal for me because it's like like literally all my life, y'all, I have been putting people before me. I've been believing in things for people and not believing in myself. I've been you know, like real deal putting people before me. Putting their wants and their needs before mine, putting them before me, you know? And this shit gotta stop. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm I got a good ass heart and that's what comes with it. So it's like I'm me, you know? But I'm gonna continue to do that too. But I just gotta take time, like I'm in separation season where I just gotta take time for me, for myself and what God wants me to do, you know? So that's where I am right now and I am so fucking at, like when I say I'm at peace like yesterday I had a good ass day like I was at home I wouldn't know when nobody here with me I was just by myself you know my boyfriend going to the internship I told y'all about so yeah I'm living alone well his brother here but I'll be by myself for real <laughs> so I'm living alone I think I want to do like the living alone in my 20s video <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that, like a a weekend vlog type of deal. Oh, I like that. I like that. Y'all like that? Comment down below if if I should do the living alone in my twenties type deal video. But I know for a fact I want to take myself on a date, like take myself on a date, do like some shit that I wanted to do when I was a kid type. You know, build me a tent, <laughs> build me a tent. You know, like heal those those inner trying, like you know inner childhood moments I guess um, but yeah um <laughs> I don't know what to say but yeah I um I'm just in a healing and separation and not worrying phase and y'all when I say it's so fucking good but the worst thing y'all know what the worst thing is the worst thing for me personally is feeling disconnected with God because it's like I've not I've not always had a relationship with God and most people that know me wouldn't even think that because I'm so like tight you know and I argue with you like I ain't gonna argue with you but like we can talk about God any time of the day when when we you know what I'm saying when we I talk about God you know what I'm saying but it's like me <laughs> I, I know when I feel like disconnected, you know, and that's, that's the, when I say that's the worst feeling ever, I can, I am nothing without God, nothing. So cars, like everything that I desire, everything that I want for my life, I don't want it if God is not in it, you know what I'm saying? And that's like, that's a big ass thing for me because most people out here in this world are like, oh, I want this, I want that, and I want that, that and the third, but it's like, once they get that, they forget who gave that to them. They forget who provided them with that. And it's like after 
you forget and lose sight of who you are, where you came from, that shit. Don't none of that shit matter. Like, all of that is temporary, literally. All of it is temporary. And people don't understand that all of that shit is temporary and God is forever. God is eternal, you know? So, yeah, if I don't have God in my life, I don't know what the fuck. But, I mean, I'm all off. And y'all, I'm not going to say it ain't going to never happen again because I can fell off a couple times. Like, literally, I just get back on, you know? I had did me, like, when I do feel, like, this different guy, I do fast or something like that. And I tell people I'm, uh, <laughs> I tell people I'm, uh, on a detox or something. But I do a fast, because, you know, you don't, you don't supposed to tell nobody you're on a fast. But I do a fast, and I feel close to the guy, like, literally. Like, I don't, I, I want to, my, my feeling connected to God is, like, literally feeling him right beside me. You know what I'm saying? Feeling his presence. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, that's just me. I don't know about y'all, but, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and read my book, and y'all need to make sure y'all get this book. I think it's on Amazon. Um, uh, I think he got this off of Amazon. This is a book again. It's called Roll Your Day. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and read that in journal, and I'm gonna call y'all back in a minute. Okay, y'all, so what I basically read about today is basically, I mean, the whole book is about ruling your day. So, it's basically like, don't let anything get in your atmosphere. Like, you have to decide when you wake up that you are going to rule your day, that you are going to not let attitude, well, you're going to rule your attitude. You're not going to let people or things, because like I said the other day or yesterday, whatever, God said, it's in the Bible, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He never said that the weapon wouldn't form. You know what I'm saying? So the weapon is going to form. The devil is going to come. Things are going to come. Problems, situations, like, you know what I'm saying? Things, people, you know what I'm saying? You won't have negative moments in your life every single day. Bad things in your life. Well, I'm not going to say bad things, but things are going to come up every single day. But it's it's up to you to decide if you want to let that get to you. Basically, don't jeopardize your character to let... It's you keeping up your walls. You're keeping up your walls and not getting out of character at all to keep your peace. That makes sense. So, yeah. That's what this book... Well, that's what I read today. That's what this chapter was about. Basically, keeping up your walls and not letting anything in to keep your peace, to keep your mind. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. So, right now, I'm... um, <laughs> I got out of the bed. It is... 1249 right now um i sent out some more pictures today what else did i do i did some more stuff while i was in the bed because um i can't come in the room and i just started doing my business cards on my phone on the canva app but it's not getting in line like i wanted to so i'm gonna do it on my computer i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, video and then i'm gonna cut the fruit up and then I guess that's gonna be it for today too, cause I don't, I literally don't have nothing to do, literally. Yeah, I don't know. I might go to the library. It looks like it's in the rain. Okay, y'all. So I just got finished doing my skincare routine, and y'all see the finished products. Get y'all one of these. <laughs> As I said in that video, get. You, what is this on it? What is that? I don't know what that is. But as I said in the last video, y'all get y'all one of these. It's an ice roller. It got like Orbit beads inside of it. And they freeze. You put it in the freezer and they freeze. And you roll your face with it. And it can sculpt your face. Also taking inflammation away. This is not a paid promotion. But y'all need to get y'all one of these. I'm putting the girlies on. Instead of the ice roller that you actually put water in. And it freeze like ice. And it melt on your face. And get all that damn water everywhere. Get y'all one of these. It's in the description. In my Amazon storefront. I think it's in beauty or either skincare. One, of, I'm pretty sure it's in skincare. Get you one. Get you one. Let me stop. But now, like, I'm just sitting here thinking, and I'm a very, I'm an overthinker. I'm an overthinker, and I'm just like, I'm tr like, I'm a very, 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 very strong person. Like literally, I'm a I'm a very strong person. I hope I don't get emotional, but I'm a very strong person, and it's like it hurts so much when people take advantage of you. When people like not even just when when people take advantage of you, but when people don't see you, you know what I'm saying? Like I know 
and I know it's just probably it's I know it's for a fact it's spiritual warfare because I'm getting closer to God and everything you know once you get closer to God the devil try to attack you but I know it's spiritual warfare whatever but it's true you know what I'm saying like I got a great heart I'm a genuine ass person with every fucking body that I meet you know but it's like every friend every relationship my family you know what I'm saying they don't see me don't, don't nobody see me so right now it's like it's literally me and God you know what I'm saying and I I don't I would never take that take it I mean take wait what is the word for it <laughs> I don't know my nose ring is itching my nose but I would never just take that for granted like God always like when I say that's one thing I can say well, it's multiple other things, but that's like that's one thing that I can't can't say. Like when I don't believe in myself, when I don't love myself enough, God loves that. He takes that part, and you know what I'm saying. He do the most with that part. You know what I'm saying. Like he give me he give me joy, he give me peace. Like that makes no sense. When I say literally, right now I should fucking lose my mind. But with everything that I'm going through, but I I can't because I know that I have something on my life, and I know that. God loved me even when I don't love myself and he believed me when I, when I don't believe in myself and yes I have a good heart and I have a good I'm a great person you know with everybody like yeah I can go out in the streets with you I can cuss you out you I can you know what I'm saying I'm, I can be your best fucking friend or you know I'm gonna set up in this house and I'm gonna make you do some shit like I'm gonna make you get your ass up and I'm gonna make you believe in yourself like that's the type of fucking friend I am like I'm always that person making people like trying to fix people, trying to make people believe in themselves when, when, like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make them stronger. I'm a strong ass person, so I feel all the fucking emotions. But I keep that shit in. I keep everything in. Um, I'm out of edge. It's cricket. I forgot to tell y'all that, um, I'm trying to hype myself up so I won't cry. But I forgot to tell y'all that a bitch found a way. Okay, so we almost, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm excited about this for real because I'm I'm starting to I'm growing and I'm trying to celebrate the small wins and let me show y'all what the fuck hold on so I, I posted I had came across this girl I came across this girl on um TikTok and she was like uh, let me put the girlies on basically like um she start she repurposed her TikTok videos and posted them on her YouTube shorts and that's what got her ten thousand uh views and like sixty subscribers in in uh two days. So I was like, shit, short like that's basically like a TikTok for YouTube. <laughs> like so my ass posted two of the most today, right? The first one I posted it was like the get ready with me. If you follow me on TikTok, which y'all probably ain't, y'all need to go follow me on all social media platforms, period. They in the description and I'm putting them on the screen. But yeah, they um the first one I posted was to get ready with me to go to lunch when I was in Texas for my birthday with the green skirt on that I showed y'all. Um in the previous video. If you haven't go watch it, it will be linked in the description because it's my favorite video. But <laughs> I posted that one and that one got 64 views. But I posted in four comments and I celebrate my small wins. That's big for me because baby, don't nobody said don't nobody celebrate me, don't nobody I'm not going back into that. But don't nobody do that for me. Don't nobody show up for me. But God, literally. God and myself. Don't nobody ever show up for me. Period. So, yeah. But I have posted the second one. Right? The second one, baby. I posted this two hours ago. Guess how many views it got? 967. Almost a fucking thousand views, right? 28 com Wait, 28 likes and one comment. That's fine. Almost a thousand views. Baby, what... I ain't got that in years. <laughs> so that is a big ass accomplishment for me. Accomplishment for oh, damn talk. Accomplishment for me. So yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm at 251 subscribers, as y'all can see. Y'all need to subscribe to my channel. Period. What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Seriously. But y'all need to subscribe to my channel so I can get to 500 because I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. I said that in my last video. What are y'all doing? Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Well, that video is going to be out before. But subscribe to my channel, baby. Subscribe to it. It doesn't cost anything. Comment down below what you want to see next. Comment down below. Pick anything. And when I when I talk and say comment down below, like throughout the video, y'all don't comment. Comment. Support the beach. Support me. Because in the <laughs> be my fucking family. Y'all see it. it. Ain't nobody here for me for real. Be my family. 
<laughs> be my family. You know what I'm saying? Interact with me like I'm interacting with y'all. So, like, comment, subscribe, share it. It don't cost nothing. Period. But, yeah. um, Do that. So, we can get to 500 subscribers. Because I'm a, at 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know what I'm going to give away yet. So, don't ask me. Um, at 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do another one. And then after that thousand subscribers, I'ma wait until like five thousand to do another one, and then at like ten thousand to do another one. So every like five thousand, I'll do one after the first two. Period. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but y'all interact with me. Y'all comment down below. Y'all, you know what I'm saying, become a part a part of the family for real. Don't let me be a part of this family by myself. And yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So yeah, I'm gonna go cut up these fruit. Mm. I'll talk to y'all later. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please why you be drinking all the time Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way The green is better, life that's better than yours Such thing is life that's better than yours Think being broke is better, life that's better than yours for what's money without happiness or hard times without the people okay y'all so i am done filming the fruit thing hopefully it's good i tasted the uh, dragon fruit and it's good it's a lot of seeds in the mugs though i don't like seeds yeah i don't like seeds at all but i am done trying not to overthink right now i'm trying to Stay sane, you know. Just know that I will be okay, you know. Okay, y'all, so I, I made it out of Target, right? I went up in there and got the stuff that I wanted. I didn't get nothing extra. So, for my lips, because my lips is dry as fuck, like, my lips dry as fuck. Damn, I wish I had my damn car. I don't like holding this damn camera. So, for the protein shakes, I got this, Premier Protein. Um, I seen some plant-based ones, but... Mm, I don't know how that's gonna taste. I'm really scared to try that, and I don't want to waste my damn money on no bullshit. And then I got this little Vaseline thing for my lips, cause I didn't really see no actual lip chat. Well, I seen some, but I didn't want that. And then I went to Starbucks. I wasn't gonna go to Starbucks, but I did go to Starbucks, and I got some matcha. The last time I tried matcha, that shit tastes like grass. And I told the lady, like, I mean, I told the lady that. So we finna try this. I put the straw up in here and pretended it to taste it so I can tell her it was good. But I got, dang, hold up. I can't even read her damn right. Cinnamon and something. So I got, I put like, like sweetening, sweetener something up in here. So let's, let's shake it up. Hold up. Give me, let me, let me start. Let, so we can get this, see what it tastes like. Cause I'm trying to like matcha. Cause I don't see how the fuck these girls come out. Matcha so good they can't they they replace matcha with 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 coffee and this shit tastes like grass. How? Let me put some on my damn lips first. That shit, mm -mm, my lips are dry as fuck. Like it feel weird. Shit. I think I'm good. 
I'm trying to stir it up because it got caramel in here and everything. It looks like a damn caramel apple. But. Okay, I'm trying to taste it and let's see what it tastes like. Y'all know what that shit tastes like? It don't taste like grass. Well, it's like a, like, <laughs> ain't gonna lie. It's like a, a hint, but it's not like, well, no, I'm not gonna say it's a hint. It don't taste like grass. I feel like the cinnamon is covering the grass taste, if that makes sense. That shit tastes like an oatmeal cookie. Like, if you dip an oatmeal cookie in milk, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> Dead ass. It don't taste like grass, though. I like it. Hold on, let me let me be a matcha a matcha girly. <laughs> let me be a matcha girly for a second. Nah, it's good though. Okay. Cause this girl, I had why I've got this recipe off of TikTok because this girl, the first time I tried it, I know I didn't want to try matcha by itself. And the girl gonna say some um try matcha to not make it taste like grass and add cinnamon and I mean, not cinnamon. She said add two pumps of vanilla and sweet cream foam or sweet cold foam or whatever. Get that shit. That shit tastes like straight grass. I couldn't even drink it. Like, I literally wasted my fucking money. So, yeah. But this shit fire as fuck. This shit fire. Y'all need to go try it. I'm going to put the, 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 the recipe on the screen. But I'm going to give me some food. I'm going to call y'all back. Okay, y'all. So, um, I'm at Chili's right now. I just got some food. Um, me and my mama just got some food. So now I'm going to go back to her house. And um, I got to do some editing today. I'm probably going to edit this video today. Honestly, I got to do some homework today. And then I um, got to edit a couple of TikToks and shorts today. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing today. So, yeah, I might end this vlog after I finish eating, honestly. Um, new vlog coming soon. <laughs> That's all I can say, really, because this vlog has been going on for too fucking long. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here, actually. Or should I show y'all my food first? Do y'all want to see my food? Mm, I got some pasta. It ain't nothing just too serious. But, yeah, I'm going to go home. Well, to my mom's house. And then I'm going to end the vlog. So, yeah. Toodles. Well, I'm just gonna end it right here. I don't get time for it. But yeah, um, this these last couple weeks been rough as fuck for me. Um, mentally, spiritually, physically, babes. I'm tired. Okay, but I will get through this shit. Okay, I will get through it. I ain't tripping. I ain't. It's it's hard. It's fuck. And then think about me going through all of this, trying to run a business, trying to be happy, doing people makeup, trying not to cry in their face. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is hard. It's fuck. And I don't think people understand. That. I don't think people get. I don't think people get that shit for real. Like, but I will be okay. Um, I'm I'm healing. I'm growing. Connecting with God and just doing what I know is best for me what god know is best for me so yeah i'm taking it one day at a time but i'm gonna get through it i'm gonna get through it for sure so yeah i'm trying to take these damn twists out my head y'all look at these damn twists they old well they not they not old actually i did these on the fourth what's the, what's today oh so that's the 10th i did these on the, the day I did, I did these on the third yeah i did these on the third and today is the 10th so they're not real old, but baby, it's time to come down. I can't do it. So I'm going to take these others down, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Make sure y'all like this video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all follow all of my social medias. And yeah, love y'all.